So today I will transform my university dorm room using IKEA from this to this. Let's get started. Okay, so right now this is the dorm setup so far. A little bit messy, not much personality to it and not really functional. My desk is quite plain compared to the desk uh, I have at home with my bedroom. I got like a full desk setup. Obviously I cannot replicate and copy and paste. That was like a compilation of years of building up the desk. But I'm going to get a very really similar monitor model I have at home, which is the LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor. It's like one of the cheapest ultra wide monitors you can get from LG under 200 US dollars. So I actually bought a newer version of that monitor I have at home. So I'm gonna go collect it in uh, Causeway Bay right now. up quite a few things from Ikea, the monitor, and I'm telling you, moving through this thing, along with my backpack and that cable box and everything else, especially this monitor, through Hong Kong Metro, and up this hill to my door, oh, man, I wish I got a car. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried, Moody Diddy Moria on the side to head a meeting. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried, Moody Kuku Koki Suki passing at a pity. So far, the setup looks like this. We got the huge 34 inch monitor that actually is a 34 inch monitor for some reason the macbook and my ipad uh, a little bit messy still and i'm actually currently in the process of installing the led lights but this cable box is really really good it's hiding quite a lot of cables actually you can see a lot of uh, jumbled cables that just shove it in there and uh yeah so let's install these led lights <laughs> Okay, so far, this is the setup that I've got. The monitor and the laptop, which is plug and play. Uh, the problem is that the laptop actually sort of covers up the monitor, the bottom half of the monitor a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do a, another quick trip to Ikea and pick up like a monitor stand, like a, the wooden monitor stand, just to lift up the monitor a little bit so I can place my laptop and it doesn't cover up the screen. IKEA Sigfin uh, laptop stand. So it's basically just a big piece of wood. And, um... Okay, y'all, so I do have to return this, unfortunately. Um, it's really good design, I really like it, but unfortunately, it just doesn't fit. The monitor that I have here. So like, uh, so this is the setup. The update so far, I've included charging stand, which is just a standalone iPhone charging stand that I've used for years. And that just allows me to plop up my phone and charge it, which is connected to a charging box beneath. The charging box beneath includes, uh, this is a really cool spot to house my controllers and phones and other stuff. So this is just um, a lot of, uh, this is the, chargers in here and all the charging bricks all hidden in a nice box so it's all not visible and clean so the problem is with this 
a laptop stand that I've got from Ikea, uh, which originally I thought was going to work, but it turns out it didn't do the correct measurements. If I put the monitor on here, it doesn't actually uh, stay still. So uh, that is a big problem. So I will actually get this returned with Ikea's return policy and um, hopefully I'll get a new laptop stand from Ikea. Unfortunately, it won't have this cool design. I do need a monitor stand. It's not just for the aesthetics, but it's just because it's for functionality as well. It's because I do need the laptop screen not covering the monitor so that I have the screen real estate beneath the monitor for use. And it's just in general better because I could see the docks and stuff and all the information that's hidden beneath the laptop. So in, in addition, I've also included a notebook in this setup, which will be my desk setup notebook, just to write down some notes and some ideas that I have coming up. This is a, actually is a Moleskine Evernote notebook, which does have some smart features um, connected to it for Evernote. It's a really old version, um, but yeah, I've just used this for some doodles, sketches, and actually I used to bullet journal in this as well, but I sort of stopped. So I've, I've been using this for years as well, and I would plan to use this as my like sort of desk setup, uh, notepad, uh, sort of anal analog setup. And obviously I've got a digital setup for my laptop, just as like a, like a third screen, and in general, content uh, consumption. And also when I'm doing studying, I do need quite a lot of screens, one for Anki, one for the lecture slides, one for the lecture, and one for like Googling information. Go to Ikea again, return this, and get a new monster stand, and I'll come back to you. Okay, y'all, finally, back from Ikea. Got a different monster stand this time, the L Oven. It's just a flat surface instead of having a curve on the sides. And hopefully this monitor stand actually could put my monitor on it. So from a dorm room setup, I wanted a really aesthetically pleasing yet functional setup. This not only makes you more productive, but it will also create a more uplifting and positive atmosphere. So as James Clare said in his book, Atomic Habits, environmental change is one of the key factors in positive behavioral change. My dorm room provided us with a bed, as well as an all-in-one wardrobe and desk set. I'm personally not a big fan of this set because I could not remove it and get my own desk in there. And the indentation and the desk layout is not, I'm not a huge fan of. But unfortunately, I have to work with it. So I decided to add some personal touches to the desk. Um, this could be through the use of plants, pictures, or other decorative items. So I got this plant from IKEA, as well as I brought some books there, not only for decorative purposes, but these are some fantastic books that I'm currently reading, zero to one, as well as a four hour work week, because I'm currently really interested in uh, building my startup and entrepreneurship. One of the things that I did buy from IKEA are these glass containers. I believe they're called IKEA 365 Plus, and they're basically food containers. And instead of putting out these food labels and food packaging out and about where people can see it and it's ugly, actually pouring the food like, like your oatmeal, your pasta, your rice into these food containers. And they're not only functional because you're literally containing the food. And I do store my food in my room instead of in the community kitchen, but it also looks absolutely fantastic on this little shelf unit above my desk and of course who can't forget about lighting so as a college student i decided to get some led rgb lights of course and i decided to wrap it around inside this desk area and above my wardrobe around this little desk wardrobe set that my dorm room provided these rgb lights are not smart at all they're really cheap i just got them the local store i think it does elevate the room a little bit in terms of just the lighting because obviously uh, the ceiling light is not the best so having it in white or you can adjust the mood of the room a little bit for studying or maybe just hanging out at night as well so unless you're running a pure laptop based setup having a good external monitor in your dorm room is crucial for studying working or gaming if you so desire i decide to get the same exact monitor i have here and my bedroom here at home so this is the lg 29 inch ultra wide 1080p 
monitor. It's a newer model of the one that I have at home, but it's still really, really cheap and really great value for the money. That's under 200 US dollars. And having been using this ultramind monitor for like five years now, I'm totally used to the ultramind monitor lifestyle in terms of having multiple tabs side by side and in terms of the screen real estate it provides for Final Cut Pro and prototyping and sketch, for example. So the computer powering this setup is no fancy PC. It's the same computer powering this setup in my bedroom. It is the MacBook Air M1 2020 edition. You may ask, why do I have the same computer powering both setups here at home and here and in my dorm? Because of just simply the portability of it. I could move around from my here from my home setup here in my bedroom I've got to my dorm setup in campus as well as work and study in cafes or in the university library just with this one single laptop so I don't have to like transfer files worry about files uh, being lost or switching between different computers having this one centralized computer for working everywhere is awesome certainly transforming your college dorm room setup doesn't have to be a major undertaking with a few simple changes you could create a visually functional and appealing space that will help you to become more productive and comfortable while studying working and also on your side hustles click here if you're interested in my awesome desk setup here in my bedroom here at home and i'll see you guys in my next video hasta luego